Okay, greetings, boys and girls, children of all ages, ladies and gentlemen. This is the greatest show on earth that features me in it anyway. And it is Real Appalachia with Shane Simmons, and I'm in McDowell County, West Virginia today for a video. Uh, you guys, if you remember, you old timers, we did, I did a poll on this channel a couple, two, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, asking where you guys wanted me to go, and the winning selection was Colwood, West Virginia. Well, today's not, I'm not in Colwood just yet. I'm headed that way. But along the way, I hit up a town or actually a city along the way. And you might could say I, uh, it was on the war path. Yes, I'm in war, West Virginia. And that is the first of many bad puns. I've got plenty. I'm armed and dangerous today with the war puns. So war, a little bit about war. It was named for War Creek, which was named for a lot of the confrontations between settlers and Indians along that creek. That little stream of water became known as War Creek and the town beside it became War. But originally War was known as Miners City and that makes much more sense because of course War, as like, like all of McDowell County for the most part, was built upon coal mining. So not so much of that going on these days, a little but not, a, not nearly as much as it used to be of course, but that is where we get the name War from originally was Miner City. And the population now is about 862, or it was in 2010, expected to drop by probably 100 or more when the new census comes out. And that is down from a high in the 1950s of right at 4,000 people. So just like the rest of McDowell County, it has jumped or has dropped precipitously over time. So almost down 20% of what it used to be. So uh, that is the life of a coal town unfortunately in Appalachia so without any further ado one thing I will say too is war a couple of these places really are why I got inspired to even take this to another higher level because I was back through here about five six years ago I guess and I was taking pictures and I took a picture of the war hotel and it has since burned down and I'll show you a picture of that right here if I can find it and let you look at from my prior visit and it's gone now it caught fire shortly after i was here i think it burned down maybe 2016 ish and now it's gone and it's just a piece of history and i realize when i look back at those types of things that i have captured already a lot of things that are gone and i what i'm hoping that a lot of this will do is maybe people look back 10 years 10 20 years and they'll see things that may not long may no longer be there so really inspired me to realize that you know what I may do it uh, at an amateur level, but what I do is important anyway. It is documenting some of the things that may or may not be here uh, in the future. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video of War West Virginia. Thank you. Well, this sign can only mean one thing. I apologize in advance, I can't help myself. This means war. Yes, I stole that from Bugs Bunny, actually. At least that's where it's coming to me from. Welcome to the city of war, West Virginia's most southern city. Oh, like a glorious angel from the clouds, I am descending into war, West Virginia, known as West Virginia's southernmost city. And of course, well, war is in McDowell County. West Virginia and it's one of the more well-known and still pretty well populated cities in this county still quite a bit going on relative to some of the other parts of the city so we'll go by the high school in just a second but the sign up to the right should confirm what I just said which is welcome to the city of war West Virginia southernmost city so around the left is where the old high school used to be. And it's kind of depressing to me to see this because it's been demolished. They built a magnificent, beautiful, gorgeous new school and a well-deserved one for the kids and all that. But mm, I wish they'd left the other one too for posterity or whatever, repurpose, get into something, do something. Kind of sad to see something like that get demolished, but that ain't my call, so what can I say? Big Creek High School was what it was called, and home, even Homer Hickam went there. It's had a lot of history to it. And 
I'm, I'm of the mind that at some point in time, McDowell County and all these places are going to get the respect they so richly deserve as part of American history. And that's why part of the reason I come here so often and I try to do my little part, which is pretty small, but I do recognize that and I do think other people should recognize that. And it saddens me to think that that may not always be happening to the extent that it should. And to the left along this road is, you will see the Big Creek Gymnasium. I don't know what's back here, so I won't go very far. Just thought I'd check it out in case something grabbed our eye. Well, looks like pretty much a residential area. Like you would expect. Find a good place to turn around and head back into town. And I guess the East War Advent Christian Church makes it as good a spot as anywhere. Sunday's message of the resurrection. Well, what better message could you have? So this takes you back into the downtown area. We're going by the Emanuel Baptist Church again. I saw another blessing box. I like seeing those. Because I think we could all use a blessing. And here's a couple more churches. Church of God. The funeral home to the left, the Dollar General. And then to the right, we've got the another church which I'm not sure the name of. Again, the City of Wars. Police Department. There's the pharmacy, the Walgreens. The Jump the Gun, there's the Police Department up here to the left a little bit. Well, you can see the police car there, it's the telltale sign there. be fair to call this war zone too. I'm trying to, I can't get enough puns out of me. Yeah, I don't think I'll go up this way too much further. But it'll give you a good shot of the Hotel Fretwell and the Molinari building. Or Marinari, Marinari. Let's get on. Al Molinaro of Happy Days fame, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. From standing used to be the town hall. Now it's just a square medical center. I'll show you a shot of the downtown section. This is the hotel front well, it says. I don't know if you can read that, but in the building to the left of it, this is now, it says, says it's a medical clinic, but the building to the left of it shows the year of 1928, it says Marinari. A downtown view of war. video. It's the War United Methodist Church and again City of War where the police are and there's a little blessing box to the side there. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah. Another look from 
downtown. It's obviously wars. Seen a lot of changes in its day, but it still has quite a bit of traffic that comes through here. And of course the trail system, the Hatfield McCoy trail system, brings in a lot of interest. A lot of people here still. I'm jaywalking. I don't know if that's a crime here or not. Not sure what that is, but I had to get a shot of it. It's a pretty quiet day, really. Now, I've been charged with jaywalking. I guess you could say I would have been charged with a war crime, right? It only took me two minutes walking to my car to come up with that one. So, maybe not as slow as I thought. Oh, groan if you must. At least the video's free. What more could you ask for, right? So the post office was to the left here, too. Get a shot of that before I go. Don't think I pointed that out at any other juncture. So, this cop has to be wondering exactly what I think I'm doing down through here. And that would be a good, fair question. A lot of older, older buildings here still standing after all this time. And here's a grocery store, a grand uh, supermarket. I, a lot of times when I come to these towns, people ask me where people get their groceries and whatnot, so it's good to see a pretty bustling one here. Rolling on down here through War Creek Road in Warrior Mine. You'll see the War Public Library here in just a second. Once I can get back on the road. there to the right you'll see the war public library and then to the left there's a little park that you can see for kids to play in independent church of the living god you can see a little very crowded housing up through here because this was a very popular place to live back in its heyday. Little church on the hill back there too. There is the world, the Warrior Mine post office right in front, directly in front of us. Which verifies that Warrior Mine is its own location. I knew, I remember from working at the bank, I had a lot of clients from Warrior Mine. So I figured it was a pretty good section of war. This is called War Creek Road, what I'm on right now. Now we can get to the bottom here. Uh, if I would go left again, we would go back by the War Library again. And then we'd end up at Berwyn Lake, which I am not going to go to. I would be, uh, hopefully, I will never go there again as long as I live. It was where I broke down three or four years ago. And Man, that's be a walk up to that house. I'm well, not in that kind of shape. But I broke down and my Honda CRV just blew uh, through a rod. So I had to call AAA and wait about three or four hours. 
for him to get here. It took forever, and I thought I'd die. I truly thought I'd die. It was about 100 degrees in the shade. My motor's blown, so my air conditioner wasn't working. I had, you know, it just was a bad, bad day. And one I don't ever want to relive, I'm being honest with you. Nice little spring coming out of the river side of the mountain here. Turn up this way and see what happens. A little shot of that. It's kind of fenced off, unfortunately. There I'd go fetch me a drink, but private property, dad gummit. A lot of people have to own stuff around here. like the old Pepsi sign here. Hatfield McCoy Trailhead. Here's a, the war fire department. A little shot of that. To figure out how to get this guy's way. No, I can't do it. Sure do appreciate it. I'll turn around up here at this old building of questionable origins here. Just shot the Hatfield McCoy Trail Warrior section. remember one of my very first for girlfriends was from war west virginia and she she had moved but she went here as a little girl and she talked about her dad was a teacher at the school so she talked about how he'd have her a hard one hard hard one hard boiled egg for breakfast <laughs> So that was Warrior Mine Road. Right to the right was a glorious coal truck. Now you can see to the left there, there's the City of War sign. And I'm gonna make a right and go by the grocery store and whatnot. There's still a few things down through here, so. Greg's Wrecker Service. 
But I wish I knew he was here back when my car broke down. Coffee shop. You can see all these buildings date back to way back to the glory days. Pioneer Community Bank, and then there's the Squire Medical Center. Now it used to be the town hall, I believe. Interesting. There's a city of war, so I guess I'm guessing that's that's the war police department. It said so. Yeah. Figure a pharmacy would be the nicest building in the whole the town. I just hate that there's drug problems in these areas. Bad reminder of that to me. But there's a Dollar General. Baptist Church up here to the left. I'll we'll double back here in a second. I wanted to go by the South Side School. K through A. Brand new school. They've done a really good job with this. And if I'm not mistaken, this is where the big old Big Creek High School used to be. I was here before, it stood literally right behind the new school because there's a Big Creek Gymnasium. And they flattened it. And that was about as popular as uh, crocheted bathtubs because, uh, you know, there's a lot of history. Nobody wants to see their school go demolished. Nobody wants to see that. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, even Homer Hickam was very much opposed to that. Homer Hickam of Rocket Boys fame, of course. But hopefully, saying this Big Creek Gymnasium is a nod to the old school that used to be here. I'm really happy they got a new school. They deserved it, and, and it's so much nicer for the children, of course. But, again, it would have been nice to see the other one still stand for whatever reason. Part of the reason I do these videos is to capture a little bit of what is lost. Because every time I come here, there's something newly demolished. And it's, I mean, it's tr truly sad because it's such a big piece of history, but I understand it has to happen. You know, some of these things are fire hazards, asbestos hazards, all kinds of issues, but it doesn't make me have to be happy about it. I don't have to be, and I'm not, so there you go. Like the old football field there. No trespassing, so. That's not trespassing. And that looks like a good place to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely look at War West Virginia. And I will see you on down the road. But first, I do want to thank a, give a big shout out to our patrons that are making this happen. And to all of our sponsors and generous donors. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. One of these days, I'm going to get this set in my mind. I need an acronym or something where I can remember what all I'm supposed to say. But... I hope you will subscribe and continue to watch our videos if you like this kind of thing. This was a long one. 
going a little bit longer ones in general anyway because I feel like when I go back and watch my old videos I would have liked to have seen more of these towns so I'm thinking well heck let me show more now and I won't have this problem in the future but thank you guys see you on down the road in the real Appalachia thanks <laughs>